Hi, I'm Sophia. And I'm Courtney. Um, <laughs> are you saying the... No, you say welcome to our sweet digs, I say the penthouse. That's right, and then you say that's right. Tan. Sweet digs, all right. Okay. <laughs> Hi, I'm Sophia. And I'm Courtney. And welcome to our sweet digs. A dorm room on the penthouse floor of Hewitt Hall. Before you come in, subscribe down below. You did it? All right, let's go. We go to Barnard College, which is the women's college affiliated with Columbia University. We pay roughly $5,200 per semester per person. Which is about $1,300 a month. It's definitely expensive, but we have to remember that we're living in New York City and we pay for a lot of amenities. We have lots of security, a washer and dryer in the building, our cafeteria is right downstairs, and we don't have to clean the communal bathrooms and our facilities are great. This is my desk where I get ready in the morning. I would describe my home style as minimalistic, but also inspired by the city. I have a lot of different New York City skylines and my color palette is very black, white, and gray. I purchased this marble contact paper off of Amazon, which has been great. I put it on my desk and on my shelves and it kind of gets rid of that typical college dorm wooden furniture. <laughs> this is one of the two closets which Courtney and I share. We do borrow each other's clothes sometimes, but obviously asking her first. I am majoring in art history and minoring in English. I'm a history major and an environmental science minor. We met online. I put a little advertisement out in the Barnard class of 2021 Facebook page looking for a roommate. And I kind of said a little bit about myself and asked if anyone would be interested in rooming with me. And Sophia messaged me and we talked for a little bit and then we decided ultimately not to room together. Mm -hmm. She explained that she has a boyfriend who would be coming over. Um, so I kind of dipped out of that situation, but I love Nick, shout out to you. <laughs> the first day of our orientation program, I saw her in the Barnard Quad, and I went up and introduced myself. And now, ironically, we live together. <laughs> <Yep>. <laughs> my bed and my photo wall. Trying to get inspired as to how I was gonna decorate my dorm room this year, I saw a photo off of Pinterest with a wall with a bunch of little black crosses for super cheap, and they were really hard to put up. I measured each one perfectly. And I appreciate how precise the measurements are because I look at them from my side of the room <laughs> and it's great. And I also have a stuffed octopus named Oswald. Everyone who comes to visit our room always gravitates towards it. When we moved in, I just turned to Sophie and I was like, we should totally get a fish because it's the only pet you're allowed to have on campus. And I was like, you know, why not? We walked down to the pet store and picked up a beautiful betta fish that we named Jeremiah, which- For no um, reason. <laughs> For no particular reason, we just loved the name. He lived above my dresser next to Courtney's bed. Sadly, he did not make it to the second semester, but he did survive all of the first semester. I want to get another fish because we have all the materials and stuff. She, she's not at all. I'm not that. into it. She's done with the fish. Yeah. This is my bed where I do all my homework. I wanted to buy the headboard for myself, and my parents were like, that's ridiculous. You do not need that. <laughs> you are in a college dorm room. But when it was half off at Bed Bath & Beyond, I was like, gotta get it. It's the thing I get the most compliments on in my room. I think it really pulls it together. And it's great because it keeps my bed from moving around in the bed frame, which is a practical reason, and makes it more homey. I would describe my home style as modern and slightly traditional, like a little bit of a mesh. Whereas I think Sophia, her design is fully modern. I think she features geometric shapes and a lot of neutral colors. I think I add a little bit more color, like my headboard and my lamp and my gallery wall that make it feel more like a home and more permanent than just a dorm room. Sophie and I did not coordinate our designs for the room. When we arrived on the first day, it kind of just all fell into place. We have a very similar color scheme, so it looks really great together. Our biggest splurge is definitely the carpet, which was about $60, and we split it amongst the two of us. It's a scrap from some other carpet that they had there, so it was pretty Mm -hmm. cheap in terms of the size of it. We didn't measure it out at all. We just kind of showed up um, on move-in day and rolled it out and it fit perfectly. And I have some wallsy cows, but those weren't planned. They were left over from Halloween decorations and I just took off all the Halloween <laughs> stickers. One of the drawers on my dresser does not close anymore because for Halloween, she hung up a bunch of fake spider webs um, on my dresser and I think one of them got caught and now it just won't close no matter how hard I try. <laughs> I'm sorry about that. <laughs> it's okay. 
This is my makeshift nightstand slash dresser, and this is the closet that we share. My interest in fashion influenced my decor style through photographs. A lot of the pictures I have hanging in frames come from fashion magazines, from editorial shoots that I admire. We share both of our closets, and we divide them for everyday clothes and coats. Sophia always has the left side, and I always have the right side. I think I definitely sometimes overtake the closet because I live so close to home, and it's easy for me to bring stuff in and out on the train, mm -hmm. whereas she has to fly here, so <laughs> I sometimes I feel like I'm enroaching on her side, but it's fine. Right, I hope it's fine. <laughs> I think it's fine. We live in a building that was built in the early 1900s and some of the windows are very old. So when it's windy out, you can hear a lot of the shaking and sound from the wind. Um, we could not sleep. We had earplugs and we would just wake up the next morning super tired. But Courtney was a genius and fixed it. I went to the bathroom and I grabbed a bunch of paper towels and I just started shoving them in the window until it <laughs> stopped moving around and now we don't hear any wind anymore. It is totally windproof and we can sleep well at night. For next year's housing, we just chose. It's gonna be a suite style living um, in a different dorm um, with four of our other close friends. We're gonna be living there for one semester and then for the spring semester, we're both going abroad to Italy and we'll probably be roommates there as well. Yes. We haven't talked about what we were gonna do after college, but I 100% would be down to live with you. I'd be down to live with you too. <laughs> what isn't the best part about living with your best friend? It feels like a sleepover every night. So that's the only way to describe it. And you can come home at the end of the day and just like talk to them about what's on your mind and Courtney always hears all of my <laughs> my thoughts and my problems and I always hear hers. The best piece of advice that Courtney always gives me is to not overthink everything. I have a tendency to dig into every detail and she always reminds me just to take life as it is and to take it easy. The best advice I've ever gotten from Sophia is to take time to think before I act. I'm an Aries so I'm very bold. I like to be spontaneous and sometimes it's better to take a step back and be more reserved and I think Sophia has really taught me to do that. Thanks for watching Our Sweet Dicks. To see more videos like this, click here. To subscribe, click here. See you on campus.